Busan is a famous coastal city in South Korea. It boasts numerous renowned attractions that allure tourists, such as Taejong Dee Park with its enchanting sea view cliffs, Haedong Yangungsa Temple with its captivating coastal setting, the vibrant Gamchin Cultural Village with its colorful houses, and, of course, when we talk about a coastal city, we can't forget to mention beaches. Busan is renowned for its stunning beaches, and among them, Haundi Beach stands out as one of the most beautiful. Hold on a moment, let's imagine traveling back in time to the 2000s, where you can see a boy full of excitement while swimming. Why am I introducing you to this little boy? It's because in just a few years, he will become one of the attractions drawing tourists to Busan too. This boy is none other than John Jungkook. Before being a source of pride in his hometown Busan, he used to be a shy boy, afraid of strangers. Even Bang Si Hyuk had doubted that he would be able to debut with BTS. So, what exactly did the boy who was even afraid of microwaves go through to become strong and successful as he is now? In this video, let's take a closer look at Jungkook's journey. Our main character, just like many other boys, was a passionate gamer since childhood. He even dreamed of becoming a professional gamer. For Jungkook back then, making money while doing something he loved was incredibly exciting. However, he didn't know that later on, he would discover his true passion, and his journey ahead would be even more fascinating. His growth at that time was like leveling up in an RPG game. Bunny not only aspired to be a professional gamer but also dreamed of being a badminton player or even becoming Haku in Spirited Away. Through these details, we can see that Jungkook's childhood was peaceful, without many hardships. His parents allowed him to dream freely, do what he wanted, and always supported him in every decision. This made JK cherish and love his family even more, a small and warm family with four members, his father, mother, older brother, and Jungkook. Whether in his family or within BTS, Kuki has always been the magne, pampered to the fullest. Jungkook is a family-oriented person, always caring for the members of his family. His older brother, John Young Hyun, was born in 1995. Due to the close age gap of just two years, they share a strong bond and treat each other as close friends. In BTS, Golden Magne is known for being an excellent gamer, often winning against his Hyungs in games. Even at home, he usually comes out victorious when playing games with his older brother Young Hyun. They have been close and affectionate since their early days, and their bond remains strong to this day. Similar to Jungkook, Young Hyun is also very talented in arts, having shown his artistic abilities in drawing from a young age. On his personal Instagram account, Young Hyun often posts his drawings dedicated to his younger brother and BTS. He is also very close to the other Bangtan boys, especially Jean. It seems like there's a special connection between the two, being the oldest brothers in their family slash group. Young Hyun always makes sure to ask Jean to keep an eye on his little brother. With his artistic talent, Jungkook's older brother even launched his own fashion brand called Six Guys, specializing in clothing and accessories. JK was quickly appointed to the position of inside director within the brand. As the director, he enthusiastically promotes his brother's brand, often showcasing the clothing designs created by his brother himself. This helps the brand gain fame and leads to sold-out products in no time. Jungian's designs have become so renowned that even other famous idols like Lisa admire them. And the artistic talent in the two brothers was passed down from none other than their talented father. Jungkook's father is also very skilled in drawing. It was he who nurtured the love for art in the two brothers. This is a portrait he drew for his son, truly a father full of affection and talent. Jungkook also loves his father dearly. Knowing the harmful effects of smoking on health, Jungkook advised his father to quit smoking. <laughs> With sincere words from his heart, combined with the love a father has for his child, Jungkook's father managed to quit smoking, something not everyone can do. Jungkooki and his father share such a strong bond that his father never misses any of his son's live streams. The two of them love to playfully tease each other, like father like son, Bunny's mischievous nature is obviously inherited from his father. 
Jungkook's mother is reserved and doesn't appear much, and she is also a family-oriented person, always caring for and nurturing their cozy home. When the Bangtan boy cooks, it reminds him of his mother and he becomes emotional when reminiscing about the dishes she used to prepare. To Jungkook, his mother is the most wonderful woman. He still remembers the childhood memory when he cheated on a spelling test. This has instilled a deep sense of appreciation in him, and it has partly shaped Jungkook's current personality. Of course his parents and older brother are important to him. But when talking about family, he doesn't just mention them, but he also mentions other special characters, his beloved dogs. Bunny and his family are fond of dogs and currently have three, a Doberman named Bam, and two Italian Greyhounds named Songi and Penji. Whenever he's home, Kuki floods his social media account with pictures and clips of himself with his adorable dogs. Previously, they also had a rescued white Maltese dog named Giriam. Kuki adored him so much that he would often draw pictures of the puppy when he missed him. <laughs> Unfortunately, Giriam passed away at the end of 2021. It's truly heartbreaking to say goodbye to him, who was an inseparable part of the family. Their bond was profound, and losing such a beloved companion leaves an irreplaceable void. However, there's comfort in knowing that he lived a fulfilling life with a loving and caring family, enveloped in warmth and affection. In 20 years, Jungkook grew up with Giriam, sharing both joys and sorrows. The memories of those cherished times will forever accompany him. Family, for him, is not only a source of emotional support but also the driving force behind his current success. Because of this, he always feels grateful for and highly cherishes his little family. The other members of BTS often mention that their Magne is the most emotional member and also the one who cries the most in the group. Quite a contrast to the strong image of JK often seen on stage. Growing up with a peaceful childhood and the protection of his family, what caused Bunny to change and become as strong as he is now? Everything started with one of his childhood dreams, which was to become a singer. However, the path he took was far from easy. Jungkook was born on September 1, 1997, in Mondokdong, Busan, Korea. This place is famous for the colorful Mondok Lego village, the delicious aroma of roasted duck at Mondok Duck Folk Village and the mystical beauty of Sok Bolsa Temple. The Bangtan boy, like many kids in the area, attended Baking Elementary and Middle School. During that time, Kuki was an energetic child and very friendly with his friends. Due to his love for play, he neglected his studies, and that's been a regret for him until now. Despite this, his parents were different from other families, they never forced him to study and always respected his decisions. Back then, he idolized the K-pop group Big Bang and singer IU, and they were the inspiration that made him dream of becoming a singer. With the ambition to turn his dreams into reality, BTS Magne embarked on his journey to become a singer. The young Bangtan boy, back then as well as now, was full of enthusiasm and ready to challenge himself with numerous auditions. However, the reality is harsh, going to multiple auditions and performing in front of a panel of judges, only to face failure due to lacking both singing skills and experience in performing, made him retreat into himself. He gradually became shy and fearful in front of strangers. At the young age of 13, the path to his dream became more challenging than ever, despite just starting out. However, Bunny did not give up, instead, he bravely confronted his fear of strangers and continued to participate in auditions. One of the first turning points in Jungkook's journey has to be when he auditioned for Superstar K, a talent search program in 2011. 
Despite appearing nervous in front of the judges, he tried his best to perform IU's song Lost Child. It can be seen that despite having limited performance experience and vocal skills, Jungkook's angelic voice left a strong impression on the audience. He was like a rough diamond, once polished, he would shine. Although Kuki didn't make it to the next round, he was fortunate to receive offers from multiple entertainment companies who saw his potential. At that time, there were numerous companies preying on the eager dreams of young aspiring artists, exploiting their innocence and longing for a chance to debut. Our Magne happened to catch the attention of one such company. They asked Kuki to come to a hotel room near the Superstar K filming location for an audition, claiming they wanted to record him singing. He was just 13 years old, still a naive and enthusiastic boy, burning with the desire to make his debut. Having faced multiple rejections in previous auditions, he was particularly vulnerable, making him an easy target for those with ill intentions. Armies were furious after knowing about the situation. He was just a baby. I feel sorry for my Jungkookie. He needs to sue even if it's been years later. Luckily, JK didn't accept the offer from that company and instead opted for another small company and it was none other than big hit music. Back in 2011, it was a small and lesser-known company. What convinced Kuki to become a trainee under them was witnessing RM's performance, which left a lasting impression on him. Thus, he joined big hit as a trainee. For K-pop trainees, self-confidence is incredibly important, because without it, they won't be able to command the stage and deliver the best performance to the audience, no matter how hard they've trained. Even though Jungkook had become a trainee, he still hadn't overcome his fear of strangers, a phobia that developed as he experienced multiple failures in previous auditions. This greatly affected his training period. There was an instance when Bunny was asked to sing, and he was overwhelmed by fear and couldn't utter a word, just stood there awkwardly fidgeting for a whole 15 minutes, much like when he participated in Superstar K's audition. This led the company to evaluate that he didn't have what it takes to debut with BTS. It seemed that everything had come to an end for Jungkook then. However, Big Hit's chairman, who recognized his potential and recruited him, chose to trust him. The chairman later took measures to help the youngest Bangtan boy overcome his fear and regain his self-confidence. One of these measures involved sending Kuki abroad, specifically to the United States. Becoming an idol requires not only singing but also dancing skills. In the summer of 2012, Jungkook flew to Los Angeles, USA, to train his choreography at Movement Lifestyle. It was his first overseas trip, and his experiences in the United States had a significant impact on him. Not only did his dance skills improve, but he also gained more confidence. As predicted by Bang PD, this month-long journey has truly influenced the growth of the Golden Magne. Not stopping there, in order for JK and other members to get accustomed to the stage lights, Chairman Bang continued to have them work as backup dancers for the company's artists like Glam and Joe Kwan. Bang PD's strategic decisions have undeniably played a significant role in shaping Kuki's transformation. However, it's the BTS youngs who train and live alongside him that wield an even greater influence over him. Becoming a trainee at just 14 years old, having to leave family and friends behind to come to Seoul, for Bunny at the time, his youngs were the only ones by his side, sharing and encouraging him to take further steps. RM has always been a remarkable leader even when he was a trainee. He's the one who inspired the Golden Magne to join Big Hit, and he also taught the youngest a lot during the training process. Bunny also acknowledges that RM is his role model. Jean moved to the group's dormitory rather late, in the summer of 2012, just a year before the group's debut. Being fond of cooking, he even had his own eating series called Eat Jean, so his cooking skills are beyond question. After moving into the dorm, he left Jungkook and the other members in awe of his cooking abilities. Jean became the head chef of the group and taught the youngest how to cook, eventually becoming skilled himself. Suga had a challenging childhood, and because of this, he matured beyond his years. When he first met Jungkook, who was still in middle school, he found it cute seeing the Magne struggle to understand the content of interviews. With his maturity, Suga became a role model for the youngest, guiding him in learning and growing in his thinking. Witnessing the Golden Magne's journey to maturity, Suga felt as though he had nurtured him. When Kuki began his life as a trainee, he was just a young middle schooler. His curt way of talking led the older BTS members to scold him and ask him to change. The peak of this was an argument between him and Jimin. He left during their practice, 
not wanting to return to the dorm, and wandered outside. Although he knew Jimin meant well and wanted to call and apologize, his youthful stubbornness prevented him. Nevertheless, after several minutes fidgeting his phone, Kuki finally made the call to apologize to Jimin. The Hyung picked up immediately, his voice full of concern. He asked where the Magne was and why he hadn't returned to the dormitory. It was a rainy day, and after Bunny took a taxi back to the dormitory, he found Jimin waiting right outside, despite the pouring rain. They both hugged and cried, making up in the rain. Since then, he has adjusted his words when talking to the other members. However, V, in particular, wants him to be himself as before. V wanted the Magne didn't have to be overly formal when they talk. While Kuki believes that doing so might lead to quarrels like he and Jimin before, V thinks that he's not afraid of quarrels and that it might even help shorten the gap between them. Through V's perspective on Jungkook, it's clear that V sees the Golden Magne as his own younger brother. Jungkook is also very close with J-Hope. Bunny cried upon learning that J-Hope had intentions of leaving the group while still a trainee to pursue his solo career. This touched him deeply and led him to change his mind. Enduring the rigorous training process together, living in cramped dorms, has changed Kuki into a more mature and resilient person. He values the BTS members like his own family, as he describes it, a kind of sentiment that words cannot fully express. With tireless effort throughout his trainee days, practicing 15 hours a day alongside his youngs, Jungkook worked on his singing and dancing skills, striving for excellence. After two years of dedicated training, the former JK underwent a remarkable transformation, emerging as a strong and confident individual with exceptional vocal and dance skills, along with the ability to command the stage. He was fully prepared to debut alongside BTS. In 2013, BTS officially debuted with the album, Too Cool For School, turning the young Bangtan boy's dream into reality. However, little did he know that the real challenges were only just beginning. K-pop is a world that, from the outside, appears dazzling and glamorous, but deep within, it's a fierce battleground. Every year, hundreds of K-pop groups debut, and with that comes an equal number of groups disbanding. Newly debuted groups, especially those from lesser-known companies, always face an uncertain future. If a group fails to generate profits for the company, the likelihood of disbandment is very high. At that time, BTS was also one of those groups. Coming from a relatively unknown company, Big Hit Music, they didn't have much support. The early days after debut were truly challenging. They all shared one dorm, used a common bathroom, and due to Big Hit's financial limitations, Bangtan boys had to self-promote. However, the seven boys gave their all to make the group recognized by more people, as that was the key to preventing disbandment. The members even handed out flyers to invite people to their free concerts. But that wasn't the worst part. People looked down on them and made fun of them. Jungkook is always moved when he recalls those times, I'm okay, dealing with the challenges of our schedule, but when I see my older brothers struggling mentally, it really makes me feel powerless. I wish there was something I could do to help them. It's no coincidence that Kuki is called BTS's golden magne. He has a golden heart, always thinking of his youngs before himself, and he puts in his best efforts for the group's development. Thanks to his and his youngs' hard work, by the end of 2013, they achieved their first career milestone with the Rookie of the Year award. Closing out 2013 with both memorable and forgettable moments for BTS, 2014 marked the beginning of Jungkook's high school years. After passing the audition for School of Performing Arts Seoul, Bunny gained admission to the prestigious school that many famous singers and idols attended. The 17-year-old Kuki was excited to start his studies, little knowing that in just a few years, he would become one of the most famous students of SOPA. Balancing his life as a student and an idol, Jungkook worked hard to maintain his academic achievements, particularly excelling in artistic subjects. He was also very friendly with his classmates and left a positive impression on them. In the same year, 2014, BTS began testing their potential in the international market with a free concert in West Hollywood, US. Their album, Dark and Wild also achieved high rankings on music charts. Seizing the opportunity, Big Hit quickly organized overseas tours for BTS in Japan, Malaysia, Australia, North America, and Latin America. This strategic move greatly increased Bangtan Boy's recognition on the international stages. The year 2015 truly marked the explosion of seven boys as they secured their first music show win. 
their title track, I Need You earned them their first trophy on the show. They were overjoyed, and Golden Magne always stood behind to give the spotlight to his youngs. At 18 years old, Jungkook had become more mature and confident. Regularly engaging in sports and physical training, John Cena never disappointed fans with his golden ratio physique. From their very first cup on a domestic music show to successful overseas tours that exceeded expectations, Bangtan Boys has gradually solidified their name both domestically and internationally. The remarkable success and profitability of the group have greatly contributed to Big Hit's rapid growth, leading to even more significant investments in BTS. Their music videos and stages have become more and more magnificent, and the members have also received numerous advertising deals, leading to a busier and more packed schedule than ever before. In 2016, Jungkook released his first solo song titled, Begin, from BTS album, Wings. The song is based on his life story, from the time he hadn't yet debuted with the group, feeling lost in the vast world, and how his youngs helped him begin his journey. Even though Jungkook has become a world-famous star, he will always be the little baby of his youngs. He treasures and holds dear the memories they've created together, whether they were challenging moments or not-so-picture-perfect ones. Those pieces of memories have always been a part of Golden Magne, shaping him into the person he is today. The success brings glory to BTS, but it also comes with great pressure. For Kuki, the pressure isn't just on stage, but also on his studies. The packed schedules disrupt his learning. For many, achieving success at a young age while still in school might lead them to neglect their education or even drop out to pursue their chosen path. However, Jungkook is different, he values the importance of knowledge and learning. Despite the challenges, he remains determined to complete his studies to the end. And thanks to his unwavering commitment and the never-give-up spirit he shares with BTS, Golden Magne managed to graduate from SOPA in 2017. He enrolled in Global Cyber University in 2017, majored in broadcasting and entertainment. However, the price of giving his all repeatedly took a toll on Jungkook, and he even collapsed on stage due to exhaustion. This unfortunate incident occurred when he and BTS were on the 2017 Wings tour in Chile. It happened right at the beginning of the concert when he should have been at his best, both physically and mentally, to give fans a great welcome. At the time, Jungkook was 20 years old, being the fittest member of BTS and known as Muscle Bunny and John Cena. Yet, he collapsed on stage, a clear sign of the immense pressures from his demanding schedule during that period. Despite not feeling well and experiencing pain, he still tried to take the stage and performed until he was exhausted, all for armies. This deeply moved fans all over the world, and they expressed their heartfelt concern for the idol. They are so professional. Jungkook still perform like nothing happened. Thank you for all that hard work, it can't be taken for granted. Jungkook please don't be so hard on yourself. At that moment, the other BTS members were deeply concerned for their youngest member. As the leader, RM was confused, unsure of what to do because if Jungkook couldn't continue performing, the stage would never be the same, as Jungkook's position is irreplaceable. Despite being a famous idol, Jungkook is a human too who needs rest, he cannot constantly follow tours and schedules day after day. In 2018, BTS found themselves on the verge of disbandment. Not just Jungkook, but all the other members struggled to cope with their jam-packed schedules, both physically and mentally. 올해 초에 저희가 되게 심적으로 많이 힘들었었어요. 그래서 저희끼리 얘기를 하면서 어 대체를 할까 말까 고민도 했고 근데 다시 마음을 정말 다 잡고 좋은 성적을 낼수 있게 돼서 너무 다행이라고 생각하고 다시 마음 다 잡아준 우리 멤버들에게 너무 고맙고 하민들에게 너무 감사하다고 얘기하고 싶습니다. 감사합니다. The number 7 holds great significance for BTS members, and Kuki listed the 7 most important things to him, with ARMYs being the first on the list. Armies are so dear to Jungkook that he got tattoos as a way to express his gratitude for the fandom. He chose visible spots for the ink to proudly show it to the world. With the talent of the seven boys and the support from Armies, BTS has continuously earned prestigious awards such as Daesang Awards, Billboard Music Awards, American Music Awards, Grammy Awards, and more. 
The group has paved the way for the Hallyu wave to reach the international music market. In 2018, Jungkook released his second solo song titled Euphoria, which was part of the album Love Yourself Answer. The song achieved immediate success, topping the Billboard charts upon release and selling over 200,000 copies in the US alone. Jungkook and the other members continued to garner numerous prestigious awards in the following years. Their achievements were so remarkable that many experts have stated that no other music group would likely achieve what BTS has accomplished. BTS' youngest member also introduced several other solo songs, including My Time, Still With You, and In My You, all of which achieved impressive results. However, amidst their continuous successes, a shocking event occurred that left armies stunned and worried about the group's future. BTS announced that they would be going on hiatus on June 14, 2022. The reason behind this decision is that the members are at the age where they must fulfill their mandatory military service according to South Korean law. In South Korea, all male citizens between the ages of 18 and 35 must serve in the military, regardless of their status or background. This led to numerous rumors online speculating about BTS disbanding, as each member will have to enlist, possibly leaving the group without enough members to continue touring or releasing new music videos. Bangtan boys themselves were also saddened by this. After spending many years together, they have become as close as family, so the idea of not being able to release new MVs or go on tours with all seven members present is indeed a heartbreaking situation. Not only BTS but also HYBE was heavily affected by those baseless rumors. Investors began to withdraw, causing a significant decline in HYBE stock prices. And it was Jungkook who stepped up to rescue the situation at that time. He had a live stream to dispel the disbandment rumors surrounding the group. 방탄소년단 활동 중단 해체 해체한다고 그래서 뭐 난리가 나 있어서 이거를 좀 바로 잡아야 될것 같아가지고 그냥 이제 달방 방탄 해식 달방이래 방탄 해식은 이제 저희 이제 뭔가 저희 얘기하면서 앞으로의 계획을 그냥 넌지시 말하는 그런 편안한 자리를 가졌던 것 같고 그래서 막 개인 활동을 하는 거지 방탄소년단으로 안 한다는 건 절대로 아니거든요 다시 한번 말씀드리지만 저희는 <laughs> With his charm and influence, Kuki managed to turn the tide and boost Hybe stock prices significantly after his statement. As one door closed, another one opened, and Bangtan Boys started pursuing solo debuts and individual promotions. In 2023, he made his solo debut with a meaningful titled song, Seven, marking a new milestone in his career. The current BTS is going through exciting transformations, promising a grand comeback of all seven members after completing their military service. Don't judge a book by its cover, this saying probably suits Golden Magne very well. With all the tattoos on his body, someone who doesn't know him might think he's quite aggressive. It's true that the current Jungkook has grown into a confident young man with a cool and tough look, but hidden within his smiles, we can still see the mischievous and playful Kuki's early self. Behind that ultra-cool exterior lies a warm heart, always willing to go the extra mile for others. With his golden personality, dedication, and never-ending thirst for learning, Jungkook will undoubtedly continue to set new records for himself and BTS on their upcoming journey.